talk about. I want to quickly give my thoughts regarding Ozarks because I remember I spoke about it previously or maybe I haven't actually when it comes to stuff that I watch. Actually, I need to do that more often. Somebody had messaged me and say I need to do more music reviews, which I definitely should do on this podcast because I've listened to a ton of music. Obviously, being a fan of music in general and also being a DJ, I'm kind of always hunting for new stuff like stuff that you probably wouldn't think i'd be into i'm um, listening to but i don't really have a place where i kind of capture that um apart from when somebody might ask me oh what's a new what's an if what's something new you listen to that you think i might like then suddenly my recommendations come out but i'd like to have a, some sort of record of the stuff i listen to and maybe we can share some stuff and whatnot on this podcast too and maybe some recommendations here or there but anyway that being said, I'm also a little bit of a of a whore when it comes to TV series. Nowadays, not so much because my time has been taken up with other things. I don't really have the time to sit down and watch as many different shows as I did in the past. I still can get through a season, but before I'd be banging out three or four shows, you know, in the same flipping week or something, right? Trying to hammer them through one after the other. But um, I did manage to finish Ozark season four. I do think this second half, because they split the season in two, they dropped one half in you know a few months ago and then obviously this half recently and i do think this half is far more better the most recent one is far better than the first um but i still have a lot of grips against the show one of the main grabs i have against the show is the is this idea that the bird family who have essentially again this is going to be spoilers you know ahead so if you don't want to hear what i'm going to speak about then make sure you fast forward or something or you just x off the video if you're watching a clip because i'm going to be full of spoilers here the one thing I don't like about Ozarks is that for whatever reason, the writers have deemed that the Bird family, who are kind of a family who basically stumble into a life of crime, they don't really have criminal tendencies about them at all. They stumble into a whole entire family, not like Walter White style in Breaking Bad, where it's one man kind of saying "fuck you to the fuck you to to the world" or "fuck you to life, society, um, to whatever," right? To his fortunes. I'm going to take my life in my own hands and just do what needs to be done in order to kind of live the life that I want to live. No, this is, a, and then him kind of pulling his family in along the way. This is an entire family um, essentially being corrupted at the same time, especially when it comes to Wendy and, or is it Mark Bird or whatever his name is, right? And I really hate it because the reason why I hate it because it's not realistic. Like you get, you got these two middle-aged, you know, men and women who stumble into a life of crime where they're essentially um, washing the money of drug cartels, Mexican drug cartels to be specific, right? Very brutal Mexican drug cartel people who are known for their vicious uh, ways in terms of how they get their, their way in life. They're dealing with those guys and somehow throughout three seasons of many ups and four seasons sorry, of many ups and downs, many mistakes, they are somehow still alive forget the kids the kids is one thing but for the main couple to still be alive after all this time is a real i think black mark on the writing it doesn't make any sense part of me thinks they wanted to do it that way in an effort to kind of show that sometimes the worst people get away with it which i can understand and i'd imagine if you're if you are involved in a mexican drug cartel and you're helping them money their loan uh you're, you're helping them launder their money into legal businesses or to just wash it so it's clean so they can launder it into whatever they want to do with it you would imagine that person will be somewhat valuable an accountant a business advisor you'd imagine it would be but we've heard many many countless stories of accountants lawyers money ma money managers being blown up in their cars thrown off of bridges hanged off of buildings mexican drug cartels don't care they don't play you cross them and it's end they like to send very stern messages out there so that people don't cross them because if you hear some little rat lawyer who was making a mexican drug cartel billions gets you know gets off you know because he made one mistake it's gonna make you make it's gonna ensure that you keep your head in the swivel and that you make sure you concentrate and you know do your job well so the fact that this family the birds made so many mistakes along the way uh did so many fucked up things try to take advantage of situations, try to outsmart them, drug, Mexican drug cartel, and they still end up surviving, it really does irk me, I have to be honest, it kind of irks me. And especially when you consider the ending of it, where Ruth Langmore, who I think is one of my favorites, who, no, I think is definitely one of my favorite characters of the show, 
she ends up you know meeting her tragic end even though she was one of the people in the show i felt like who managed somehow by a lot of effort to pull away from the bull the bird the bird family you know vortex of misery it was it's such a it's such a flipping um it's such a vortex it's hard to kind of pull away from it feels like every character that kind of crosses paths with them for a pretty long period of time somehow ends up paying the price whether it's um inadvertently or inadvertently or inadvertently but i feel like ruth langmore her character finally was able to pull away finally was able to get on her own two feet by swindling them out of the casino which was brilliant to see finally ends up having you know the the grace or the luck to get her record expunged she's the first langmore i think to have a clean record she says right and she's gonna start anew and then she ends up getting off at the end which is obviously tragic but makes sense because considering who she killed but still if there was one person who desired who deserved to die it was definitely wendy bird at the end of season four for sure she deserved to get offed 100 percent. she was so annoying so annoying as a character i'd never understood this but there was a line in it where i think the writers tried to justify it by basically saying something along the lines of her saying oh i think she was arguing with the girl that that owns the, the pharmaceutical company and or somebody you don't i know maybe it was the one maybe it was a cop actually the pi he was like oh you don't get to play hero you don't get to you know to be the good guys in the story and i think wendy says something oh yes we do something like that like a quick quip so maybe the writers knew that it wasn't going to be well received the ending so they wanted to justify their writing by saying that no these people are like the coke family they are like this whatever family the clintons whatever they are right in that they do get away with the most heinous crimes because of just who they are and because of luck because of white privilege whatever it may be but i just think it was a bit of a hard watch to kind of um buy into the idea that the mexican drug cartel would allow this family to remain intact considering all the bother that they've kind of put them through you know the amount of bodies that have dropped you know from the mexican drug cartel through just knowing the the bird family is, is pretty nuts when you think about it especially when you could think when you kind of consider that they are basically law-abiding citizens you know to a certain extent yet they've been responsible for many deaths of you know um henchmen and foot soldiers and muscle from the mexican drug cartel it's pretty mad but anyway it's a decent enough show great acting throughout everyone does a really good job in it to be honest there's not one actor in it who i'm annoyed by and i think they all do a really good job in terms of um you know uh sh taking us on a journey of what it feels like to go from being a somewhat normal person to someone that's involved in high high levels of organized crime so it's definitely something i recommend you check out if you haven't already